What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Guys, the Black Manosphere and other red pill communities out there um, have given a lot of light as to some of the subliminal messages um, that women say or throw out when especially when they get over an ex or, or break up with an ex-boyfriend or move on a lot of times moving on while, while dating two people at the same time cheating and I think this is the case with Jennifer Lopez okay she's out here talking about how she has never been better after getting back with her ex Ben Affleck okay and she says this in a statement, guys, listen to this. Stay music! I'm super happy. I know people are always wondering, how are you? What's going on? Are you okay? This is it. I've never been better, and I want my people who care about me because I care about them so much to know that I've really gotten to a place in my life where I'm great on my own. And I think once you get to that place, then amazing things happen to you, and you never imagine in your life happening again. And so that is where I'm at. And I love all the love that's coming my way right now and all of the good wishes. And I just want everybody to know that it's the best time. It's the best time of my life. Now, we, 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 we can probably deduce what she means. After dealing with A-Rod, because he's holding my life back, he was the problem in my life. I've never been better. I'm super happy. And that happiness has to do with Ben Affleck, right? She's been hanging out with him a whole lot. So he has to be included in putting her in that space because, well, she wasn't saying that when she was with A-Rod. Here's, here's what I want to talk about today. Okay? Here's what I want to talk about today. If you're so happy right now, what about the other 25 or 30 relationships that you had? I can guarantee you, you've also said at some point, you've been at the happiest time in your life. Do you know why they do this? <clears throat> because they always want to blame their problems on somebody else. The ladies will say this. Okay? This is why guys need to really understand what's going on here. You see, it's always somebody else's problem while they're not happy. They move on to the next guy. You'll see him on Facebook. What's that? You know, oh, with my boo, with my bae, I'm so happy. Look at what my boo did for me. It, it's it's all good in the first one year, six months, one year to 18 months, to, to two years. But by 2024, what do we know about how, how, how things go? J-Lo will be single again. And how do we know? Because future performance can be gauged off past performance. And Ben Affleck, right now, it's just his turn. It's his turn. A lot of times in life, you know, a lot of guys got to understand that with certain ladies, you have a season. My season might have been 2019, and your season might be 2020, and somebody else's season might be 2021. But right now, A-Rod ain't in season no more, and he should never go and deal with her again, okay? To be honest, he shouldn't just deal with her. He should just be cool, going about his business or whatever, because she's disrespecting the guy. But Ben Affleck is in season, but it's not permanent. Because the reality is with somebody like Jennifer Lopez, and guys have to understand this, you can never make her happy. All right? It's an emotional game. And if you guys believe that it is you that makes women happy, then you're ridiculous. Because the reality is, is that you're not the person that makes them happy at all. Only they can make themselves happy, and that's it. 
So if they become un unhappy, sometimes, a lot of times, you know, a lot of you guys can do the same thing that you've been doing, taking care of them, providing for them, and they're not happy anymore. And they'll be like, you know what? Um, I've been doing my things for the, you know, uh, he's been doing everything for the guy. He's a good man. He's a great man, you know. I'm just not happy. You didn't do anything. Let her go. Let her go. You're not happy. I'll tell you where you're going to be. You're going to be unhappy somewhere else. So we're not going to play those games with you. And see, guys allow themselves to be in, in these little unhappy, happy games. Don't do it. That's the problem right now with men. Okay? Because the reality is, is all that matters is your happiness. See, a lot of times everybody sacrifices themselves for the happiness of ladies. Stop that. They're not going to sacrifice their happiness for the happiness of you. They don't do that. Some of them might do it, but, not, but many don't, you know? And so you're trying to figure out why she's unhappy, you're going to counseling, you're doing everything right. And then at, at, at the end of the day, what, what happens is she goes to somebody else, starts all over again, refreshes, gives everything to the guy that comes next. So let's say if you wasn't getting sex, you wasn't getting respect, whatever. She gives it to the new guy because it's new, right? He haven't done nothing. You've done all of the investing in her, all your energy. Trying to make it work. The next guy don't have to do nothing. Zero. Okay? He don't have to do nothing. At all. And then you wonder why she's so happy now. Well, it's short-lived. Don't worry. It'll be coming back. And then she'll be on to somebody else, like J, J. Lopez always does. And I'm not saying all women do this, but it's enough women that exhibit this behavior that we can we can see that guys have experienced this before. That's why you can't get caught up in their happiness or their unhappiness. Don't I don't care anything about that. What I care about is my happiness. So the way that I do things now is that I'm unhappy. You gotta go. You don't you don't do what, 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 what you're supposed to do. You gotta go. Cause if I'm unhappy, that's all that matters. I don't care about your unhappy your happiness because it comes and goes. What matters is how I feel. It don't matter how you feel. It matters how I feel. So I'm to a point in my life, So and you brothers got to get there too. Financially, I'm, I'm, I'm confident in myself that if, when I'm unhappy, your ass is gone. You're out. Because we're not going to play these little games with you. Going back and forth about your emotional roller coasters and you ain't caught up in that. No, 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 no. We're going to get you up out the door. And let you play that game with somebody else. Because you're not going to play it here. And Alex Rodriguez, if he's stupid enough to be on the side, like Ben Affleck on the side, all she's going to do is switch back. Stop letting, stop. Listen, she been going back and forth with guys for, she's 50-something, never been married, had 30, 40 boyfriends. Can't, can't nobody make her happy. Y'all got to let, listen, let them do them. You're going to be over there unhappy by yourself, dealing with somebody else. That's what you're going to do. You won't do it here. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. Check out the Black Men First t-shirts. I'm out.